What's going on guys? Welcome back to Soft Fresh Fishing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jay Rob. And guys, today we are out here on the river. We are in the brand new Skanu. The very one that you saw at the bottom of the river. What? I'm literally standing in the middle of the river. But it's now dry and um, floating on top of the water. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a speed test of this canoe with the four horsepower Suzuki on the back. We got about, including myself, maybe 400 pounds on the boat, I would say. We got about 400 pounds on the boat and then we got um, the four horsepower Suzuki. So we're about to get a speed test with the current and against the current because we are in uh, this intercoastal waterway type of vibe. I'm going to just show you guys what we're doing on the, on the Garmin. Show you guys the uh, miles per hour on that. Let's uh, get it going. We're going with the tide, with the current, I believe, right now. So let's let's do that. This is half throttle. This is full throttle. So we're gonna turn around, but we're gonna do the same test going the other way, which I believe is against the current. Judging by the speed we got there, that was with the current, I would say. All right, turning around. All right, dope. So we're in this canoe, and we're about to go against the current, um, half throttle. And now we'll do full throttle against the current. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the speed test of this canoe with the four horsepower outboard on it. Just for you guys who've been with the channel a while, you know that I used to have the Bass Raider. Yeah, you can see a significant difference with the same exact motor, by the way, uh, which is the reason why I was looking for a boat like this, a square back canoe, because I fish a lot of rivers, a lot of intercoastal waterway, waterways. To uh, get around with uh, tidal and current flow, uh, along with the wind, uh, the Bass Raider is not very aerodynamic, just by the design, but it does not move very quickly and it can honestly be a hazard if trying to get out of an area with a lot of current you know moving at three four miles per hour sometimes it was a hazard <laughs> i needed to find the cheapest way to increase my speed so the cheapest way was a different boat this canoe actually only cost me 150 bucks and everything else that's on it was already on the bass raider so the rest of it was free so i mean not free but it was no extra cost so Essentially $150 to increase my speed by times two. So something to think about if you fish rivers and canals, um, if you're someone who has a Bass Raider. I know Pelican makes some, Sun Dolphin makes one, I think. A lot of different brands make them, but it's kind of like a canoe skiff. If you're thinking about actually fishing in intercoastal waterways and stuff, and, you have, and you're thinking of getting a Bass Raider, I would probably be one to be against that if you have something you're thinking of doing only because it just it's not very aerodynamic and it plows through the water it's great for lakes and ponds absolutely great and the stability factor you can't beat it this is not as stable as the bass raider so anyway that's the speed test um and that was a little bit of comparison between this and the bass raider too i guess yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys stay safe stay blessed i'll catch you on the next video peace